Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching. Before you do anything else, like, subscribe, activate the notifications by clicking on that bell below so you get notified each time I upload a new video. So today we are doing another drawing tutorial and this time we're going all the way to Austria and we're going to do none other than Egon Schiele. I used to say Egon Schiele, but I just looked it up how to pronounce it and it's Schiele or Schiele. And if it's I'm saying it wrong, my apologies. Well, Egon Schiele was born on June 12, 1890. And he died on October 31st, 1918. So he was only 28 years old when he died. And he died due to the Spanish flu pandemic. Actually, his wife died on the 28th of October. She was six months pregnant with their first child. And then on the 31st, three days later, he died. So it's a very sad story and it's kind of odd that we are also going through one here. Now, Egon Sheila did not do very well in school. He actually re had to repeat several grades, but he made it into art school. He wasn't very satisfied with art school either, so he left that. And then the artist Gustav Klimt took him under his wing and kind of helped him evolve into his own style. Uh, he was kind of his protege. He introduced him to, to art collectors. He helped him showcase his artwork. So thanks to Gustav Klimt, he made a name for himself and also his work. He was very talented. Egon Schiele was a figurative painter. It can also be considered early expressionism. You know, his art focused a lot on the human body, human emotions. Sometimes the bodies were contorted. It focused on movement. And for that particular time in history, some people believed his work was very grotesque. So today we're going to draw this one that you see right here, it's a self-portrait that he did in 1912. I love this one because I like how it almost seems unfinished because he only chose to paint certain parts of it. So we're going to draw that today, so get your pencils. I'll start with the Sharpie and let's get started. So, half your paper, your chin will be slightly above the half right, mark. So then we're going to start with the eyes and the eyes will be on half of a half. So about right there. You're going to start by drawing almost like a V, somewhere between a V and a U. It's a three quarters view. And you're gonna go out a little bit and then go in. And then you're gonna make a line on top of here. And this is kind of like the eyebrow. So you're just gonna make another line above it. And then close it off, this eyeball. And then there's two lines down here. There's a lot of like lines throughout here, so I don't know if these are just because he has a bushy eyebrow or he's like making a stern look and it creates these lines on his forehead, so there's lines up here. The other eye, you're gonna start here and just make a line out. This will be the top. And then the eyeball. And there's a line down there. Then the for the pupil, make like a little etching up at the bottom of it, and then bring this line down. That's the nose. Also, his eyebrow, like I said, it's kind of bushy, so take it in, out, in, and out, like a zigzag, and then connect it to this corner. And then you're gonna bring this line to the eye. So then the bottom of the nose is kind of like a V. I have to look closely because it's really small. Right here you go in and back out and then slightly up. And then, I mean, but there's no right or wrong way because it's kind of like a sketch. And then I guess bring this down, a line right here. Now from the tip of his nose, you're going to go down. And then you're going to go down and make a U. It's almost like a J. And then bring this out on each side. And you're going to extend it out on both sides. And then the bottom of the lip. And then a smiley face here, and then connect each end to the outside of the lips. Now from here, you're going to bring this line to the edge of the lips. And then kind of curve there. 
bring this down, then across for his chin. I'm gonna go up here. It's very sketchy, so you're just gonna make lines. It doesn't really matter. The ears right here, his neck, on the inside of the ear. And there's a line here and there. So he has very spiky hair. So this is a side. So you're just gonna add kind of like edges just to make it give the illusion that it's spiky, like little zigzags. And like I said, there's no right or wrong way. Once it gets to here, you have to connect it to the uh, eyebrow. And there's a line there. It's actually straight line, it's not now. There's a line here too. So he's kind of like doing that number. So now you make, you're gonna bring this around to form the head, but like I said, he has spiky hair, so just do zigzags to give the impression that it's spiky. And he's wearing a bow tie. Well, first let's do the collar to his shirt. down and then here the bow tie here is the center so you're not it's not a circle because like I said it's very sketchy so it's kind of just like that so something circular and then the left side of the bow tie like I said it's very there's just like weird lines so you can kind of do your own thing as long as it gives the impression that it's a bow tie. You can bring, bring this down and then bring it in a little bit. I mean, across and then down. Or go up right there to connect to the bow tie. Extend this out. This is like his shoulder. Now, this line you're also going to bring down all, not all the way down, but pretty much. Uh, extend this out. And you're just going to make like his sleeve so. It, same thing on the other side. There's actually a gap between here, so just bring it down. It doesn't have to be any type of way, you know, it's just it's just a sketch. The flop to the coat. Now the arm. And it's just sketchy again. The wrinkles on his coat. Other flap will be here. And that's pretty much it. It's, like I said, it's very sketchy. You can add more lines if you want. You can make it more detailed if you want. And then he chooses just to paint this black. So now I'm gonna go color mine just to see how it comes out. But that was a very simple drawing. Now let me go paint it and see what it turns out like. Alright, so this is what <clears throat> mine ended up looking like. I added watercolor, pastel, pencil, and acrylic. And I added a little bit more black than what Egon did. And more purple. There's a lot of purple in the face. I think the expression in mine is different than Egon's. But I still like it. I think it's fairly simple to make. If you're interested in this or any one of my other artworks, you can DM me via Instagram. Also check out my Instagram because it posts a lot of artwork there or just send me an email and I'll leave it all down here. And that's it for today's tutorial. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, and watch all the other content in my channel. Uh, until next time, adios, y bye.